This is Robert Wilk is here at the Randolph Air Force Base. Here we're in a closet, far away, in a bunker, so we can film this. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is just something just fun. Painting is a fun thing. It, sometimes it can be a pain in the ass, and you guys can get too focused on really creating a masterpiece of artwork and just kills it for you. One of the things that uh, you have to do is, is, is practice in getting control, uh, work on getting control, but then at the same time work at having fun, being really loose. What, what I'm going to do right now is, is become really loose. Um, I'm going to sit down, put color really quickly, and I'm going to make a big piece of artwork just uh, just to have fun. Um, <clears throat> there was an artist, his name was Botero. Uh, he's the one that does all these fat women. Uh, check him out. And one of the things that he talks about is he enjoys painting. Painting. He enjoys it. What a concept. So here I am going to do it. So I'm going to take this coffee cup. This is actually a restaurant where I eat almost every morning here in Pat Booker. Uh, uh, Pat Booker, Universal City, Texas. Um, this restaurant's a little Hispanic restaurant. I, I really enjoy it. I've been eating there for the last uh, 20 years. This is actually their coffee cup. Everything can be a piece of artwork, so I'm going to go ahead and start this. So anyways, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this oxide red that I'm constantly telling you. You know, you thin it really quickly. And w what we're going to do is we're going to draw. Okay? And so here's, here's this oxide red. But we're going to do a whole painting really quickly. I might not talk this much this time. But I am going to paint as fast as I possibly can paint. Um, and be loose, have fun. Nothing is, is, is perfect, and, and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is everything that I'm going to do is I'm going to thin down. And, uh, and here it goes that right there. One of the things that I'm trying to do right now is kill the white. Just get rid of the white. Send the white to, you know, send the white to Jesus. Go ahead and just remove that that stark white. You really just want to start seeing midtones. If you put white, you put it. It's not put there for you. So here's the handle. And and when you draw, going back to drawing, you know, part of it is is shapes, see things, and shapes and directions of lines. Have fun, guys. Um, so here, here's this. Now I'm actually getting thinner right here just to go ahead and just to wash this whole thing down. Remember what I said? We want to get rid of the white. The white is key. Get rid of that. So now the thing is that this is not, the question is do I darken this to make this push? So this is actually darker than this, so I'm going to push this back. And there's a shadow right here. Here's a shadow. And I'm not really concerned about getting it perfect, because perfect is not really, remember, it's fun. Just just be red. The thing I like about Big Canvas is also, guys, it's a lot of movement. It's, it's a lot of uh, sitting down and, and just putting all this color as quickly as possible. When you paint stuff like this, just, just have fun, enjoy yourselves. Uh, don't get too, too serious. Um, Part of the part of the beauty of painting, uh, this this handle's actually up here. Part of the beauty about painting like this is right now what I'm trying to do is just kill the color, start paying attention where things are at. Remember, kill the white. You want want to do it with a bigger brush? Let's do it with a bigger brush. Maybe we'll go faster. So, bigger brush. Here's a bigger brush. Look at this. I have a big brush right there. Everything, everything really, honestly, can be a piece of artwork. You guys are going to be really surprised by the time I get finished with this, how it's going to look like. So I'm going to change brushes here. I'm going to get a smoother brush. Uh, I'm going to start really grabbing a little bit more detail. Uh, I'm finessing it, M making my lines, making my lines how they need to, to fall. This goes down here like so.
this goes down here like so. And this goes down here like so. And I'm just just having fun. Now, and, and when you start seeing things, you start seeing things um, like shadows. Uh, one one of the things that I love that I like to start doing is right now I'm going to start putting uh, cool colors. Shadows are, are cool colors here, but this is a purple. This this is this right here is this right here is another shadow. So here, so now I'm, I'm going to draw this lip, and this is, this is going to go right here. This is my, my lip. Now I need to lubricate this a little bit more. I just I just want to be struggling with. So here's this. This is this is shadowed right there. This right here is shadowed. Uh, right there, shadowed. Get a big canvas. Start knocking it out. Don't don't be too. Don't think. Have fun. Put color. So right now, I'm just going to make sure that my drawing is correct. Here, the bottom of this lid is right there. This is more of a purple right there. See the purple right there? You can see the purple. That pushes it back. Here's the the lid. That goes there. Now I got a bar. I got a, a hot sauce bottle. Oh, by the way, I love this hot sauce. It's a red hot sauce on this, and, and I think it's just really just tasty. So here's this. This is also dark. I'm not all the colors that I'm applying right now are very thin. I'm not really concerned that much on 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 the the, the proportions or the colors being correct just as long as they're dark. See this right here? This gives the lid right there. So, thin the color down. Um, uh, the reason I thin the color down is really simply, simply for, um, um, that if the color is wrong, I, I because it's so thin, I can literally uh, kill it with another color. Or in other words, what I mean by killing it, I mean by literally changing the the color because it's so weak. I can change it. That means I can this for right now. It's white, but when I when I get other when I put the other brush strokes right here, it's going to be. You see this this right here is going to be white. I'm getting the thickness of this right here. So this is this is that right there is dark. Okay, that right there. This comes down like so. You see I'm giving this three-dimensional there's a highlight right here this is blue right here so this this is dark right here and I'm just putting purple very thin purple um, nothing's perfect but but you can start seeing that I'm starting to push things back and forward literally I'm drawing but I'm drawing really fast I'm not really concerned that much with this I'm gonna put this uh, uh, this uh, there's a hot there's a tortilla plate right here this is a tortilla plate right there. This kind of goes down like so. And here's this. this is, I'm not sure what that is, but it's dark. Now, you see this right here? Uh, well, maybe you don't see it. There. See that right there? This is, that's dark, that's dark, and it makes this pop out. So, as you can see, as you can see, this is very thin, not perfect, but um, it's getting there. This is fades into this other. All right, so this coffee cup, mm, early in the morning, just love that. Good cup of coffee just snaps you. All right, so this is dark. This is light. So, so now I'm going to focus on one area. Okay. Uh, I like the coffee cup, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, one of the first things that I'm going to do is I'm going to get this big brush right here. Um, the square bristle brush and I'll wet it, clean it. 
Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a brush stroke of purple, a good solid brush stroke of purple right here. So now this, this comes right here. Now this is solid paint right there. Look at that. So I'm going to warm this up a little bit. As you can see, I'm literally starting to paint. And I'm really being careful how I put the color. Each time I use this color, I want to make sure that I, I can control. This is a brush stroke right here. I'm literally mixing the color in stages. And, and I'm seeing that if you look at this, this mo goes more into this purplish mop. And look, you can see that booger right there? Get that booger out of there. All right. I just want to be careful I don't mix this purple too much into this. There's a nice subtle change. I'm going to sit there and create more of a mauvish, more of a red, and I'm going to lighten it up a little bit. So here's this right there. You see that? Brush stroke. I want more of an orange. So, so what I'm going to do is every time I put a color, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to feather this in. Okay. So now I'm going to come back with this purple. And this is more of a purple right there. Okay. So now I'm, I'm starting to look where I have the purple here, okay? I, I see that I have purple here. I have purple. This comes down right here. Now I'm drawing just to make sure that I put my brush real correctly. There's a purple there. There's a purple here. And there's there. So now there's a yellow ochre that I'm seeing right here with a tinge of purple right here. Look at that. So I'm going to come back here. This is more of a yellow, more of a yellow red. And it, these are just brush strokes. This is really about controlling the brush and controlling the strokes of the brush. Now I'm feathering this 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 in here. I'm gonna come back with a little bit of this, lighten this a little bit more, give me some more contrast. You can put a little bit of white right there. There. So here's this right here. It's that stroke right there. So now. What I'm doing is I'm loading my hands up with different brushes and I just spilled on my medium. Fuck it. Please bleed that one out, please, because I said fuck it. Uh, wow. Oh, that's shit. So here I'm going to... Look at this blue transition this you know when you, you when you paint it, it things happen and you just keep working look at that pretty blue not perfect but huh well just wait till it Watch, watch this one. So here, I'm going to take this white. When you paint like this, it does use a lot of paint, so don't be squeamish. Look at this. Here's this. This is a bristle brush, so So here's this right here. Now I'm starting, you see what I'm seeing is I start seeing color like this yellow right there. Okay. This is, this right here is a different yellow, but I'm going to put it there because I wanted to connect to, to that right there. 
this right here is a different yellow and this right here is a different yellow but I'm gonna put it all the same so every time I put a color one of the most beautiful things is that the, the more that you see the more that you control the more that you put down as I'm mixing the color I'm going okay I have a little white here this look at this just a little highlight right there okay um, this right here I'm gonna mix this a couple of times and just drop it down and wipe the brush off then here I'm gonna come back and put this blue right under the bottom of this I'm gonna sit there and bring the red out or uh, So I have a red now. Every time you have a color, I, I'm just putting the brush stroke that I see there. So um, I see this. See this. I see this right here. And what I'm doing is I'm having fun. I'm just putting brush strokes. I don't really care if they're close to it, but I'm just literally just enjoying myself. Um, not really being concerned. Uh, if they're perfect, if I make a mistake, I can correct it. Um, all right. This is more of an orange here. Going to start uh, working on the highlight. And here I am. There's that beautiful blue. There's one of the reasons that this, this painting is really cool or, or at least I think I, it, by the time we get finished with it you'll see what I'm saying it'll be really cool is that because it, it creates it has a lot of contrast the contrast is what really just gets us kind of all hot and bothered about this whole thing um, so part of the the painting is just literally working with this nice uh, contrast and making it feel oh, beautiful. Okay, good. So, so now I'm gonna this this blue is right here. I'm just going to draw it out right here like so. So now I'm going to shrink this. One of the reasons I'm jumping down here is because I have the color on the brush and it's much easier for me to much easier for me just to go ahead and put the color here. Now, I'm having fun with, with just mixing color and playing with color here and just really just kind of pushing the color and the limits of the color. Um, part of the, this, the secret about painting is, is just kind of controlling the brush strokes. Like right now I'm getting kind of sloppy. You gotta be really careful with, with how sloppy I get, but here I'm gonna I want to to show you how quickly this thing will pop but I'm gonna control it I'm gonna control the the whites and then I sit here and, and create this this there's a white right here I think right here there's, there's that 
beautiful garnet right there. Um, part of it is just waiting to to let the colors meet. These, these just they want to meet together and, and create this incredible story. Uh, part of it is just being patient, controlling the color. Like here, like I'm um, actually have white. I didn't even dip down. If you rewind this, but I'm going to come back here and just sit there and just chisel this off and just blend this color out. The color is really dominating. So, so here I'm going to come back with this right here and I'm going to encroach and create this this in inset of color. And, and you can see I'm just working the color out. Oils lend itself just beautiful control. Here I'm just going to sit here and just create. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another load of, of white right here, uh, of white, and I'm just going to just drop it right here. And now I'm going to look at this whole painting, this whole thing, and I'm just going to drop it right there. Just sit here and just fade it into one color, and then travel across to the other side, and I'm pulling it down uh, part of it. That's what makes it look so wonderful. Now here I'm going to I'm, I'm going to pull the color down all the way to the bottom. This this is a synthetic brush. You see these boogers here. This is a synthetic brush right here. Um, but the beauty of it, it does lend itself to to feathering and blending uh, colors. So I'm going to come back right here and I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull this color. You have to be really careful you don't encroach in other colors because then you pick it up. But right now what I'm going to do is going to fade into it. And I'm going to fade into this right here, into the white, and I'm going to try to control it. Now I'm feathering the whole hole here. So anyways, so now I need a little bit more blue. So I'm going to go ahead and create this, this blue right here. There's this, this is the ultramarine blue. Okay. So I'm just putting the color here. So here, so I'm going to fade this way with my brush all the way down. Okay. So here, 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 here I go. This, this, and I'm going to fade back. Okay. Now I'm wipe, wiping the brush. I'm going to start pulling this color into this right here. I want to make sure that I get this faded. So this is a purple, and I want to fade this purple into this red. Now I'm going to unify both colors, and I'm going to sit here, and now I'm going to work this, this down. Now here's this. So here's that beautiful color. You just look at that, that. There's a nice feathered line. This line to me is too brusque, so I'm going to cross hatch the color. Now I'm going to pull this color here and I'm going to feather this that way. And then I'm going to feather this. So I'm also, I'm picking up. Now I wipe this off. So here I'm going to feather this. And I'm going to kind of. So now the cup looks like it's, it's working now. Feathering this back over here. I'm going to feather this right here. And yeah, you pretty much get the idea. So here's this right here, and I'm going to feather this. All right. Now I'm just, I'm just trying to. I'm going to grab a lot of white right here, and I'm going to feather the top right here. So I'm going to. This is the brush. Wipe it off again. Wipe it off again. Now here's the top right there. This is, and I'm picking up this purple, which really blows. But, fuck me, well, son of me, such is life. But here, I'm going to feather this right here. So 
with this, I'm going to pull this down right here like so. So this, grab this, a little bit of white, and this is this. Now I'm going to change brushes. Th that brush does blend really quite nice, but it's just sometimes it's too much work. So now I'm cleaning this brush off right here. I'm going to come back and I'm going to pull the color. Changing brushes sometimes is a good thing. Now I'm going to push the color. This is a bristle brush. quickly now this starts to look really good so now I'm gonna I'm gonna soften these edges I'm gonna soften this I'm gonna go back to this line well let me just show you that we can go with a bristle brush and um, so I'm gonna wipe this off really good so here I am going to put a little bit more color here. And here it's going to be more blue. Here it's going to be more red. Here it's going to be more purple. So here it's going to be more more yellows, and I'm just having fun putting this color. And I just picked it up from the back, but that's okay. Now this is a brush stroke right here. A brush stroke comes down and just I'm gonna feather it out right there. I wipe the brush off, start again. Chisel the color like I wanted to. Like it has to feel round. I'm gonna put a little bit of orange here. There's a little orange. Here's a little orange here. And then there's a little orange right there. Here's a little orange here. I'm going to feather this out. Alright. So now. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna, I'm gonna glob some some white right there. I'm grab it here and I'm gonna put a little up. up. So I'm going to grab more white right here and then there. Grab more white right here. So you can see this whole thing coming together and it doesn't, if you really think about it, I'm not really having that much of a, I'm having fun actually. Um, here I'm going to, I'm going to wipe the whole brush down and I'm going to balance the brush right on both lines and I'm going to give it another stroke and soften this and it gives it a round edge. So here I'm going to do the same thing for this. 
soften this right there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and create this a little darker. Now, the thing is that I'm scumbling the color. I'm, I'm feathering the color with this right there. Over there, that, that creates too much. Not really that crazy about that dark orange. I'm going to, I mean that orange, I'm going to make it more of a brown. And the thing that I'm actually seeing is that I'm not happy with the shape of the, of the liquid. The liquid has to be moved more, more like this. So I'm going to pull the liquid all the way right here, like so. I'll go like that. So here I'm picking up color. So you see that this light color, I'm going to get, get it a little bit more darker. More of a halo blue. But look at the, look how this is, this is a darker blue, but I am keep picking up color. there. So I'm going to put a person looking in right there. There's a reflection of the coffee. All right, guys. So you pretty much see what we're doing here, okay? So here, I'm going to go ahead and take a look, uh, take a look at this. So one of the things that's really cool about this, I'm going to create this uh, really quickly, as, po as quickly as possible. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do a purple purple warmth so I'm gonna go ahead and chisel this out so so this is a little higher it's okay I'm gonna go ahead and fudge it so this goes here 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 and that's a dark and that gives me this here Here I'm gonna create this. This is tilting on me, so so this I'm gonna create this. I, now I need to get the correct shape on this. Mm -hmm. The beauty of, of of painting like this, it's it's just it's a stroke that makes it happen. I want it to be pepper. I want it to feel warm. And it, that creates a contrast. This is down here, and there's going to be some long ass pepper. But all right. So one of the things that I'm going to do is I am going to make some color because what I'm going to do is make some color for for all this, and so I'm going to take my palette knife. Instead of me mixing it and wasting my time, I'm just going to make myself a nice little glob of it. Glob of this color with a little bit of brown. And I'll make myself two different tones. So th this color, three different colors that I can use for them. And the reason that, that I want to do that is because 
I don't want to be blending all this color while I can sit there and just kind of create some brush strokes really quickly. Uh, let me give you an example here. This goes like this. So, Create, have fun, enjoy. Remember, this is a journey. Uh, and guys, subscribe. And thank you very much for everything. I appreciate you guys. You have a great day.